Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today I'm going to show you how to fix some really common image related problems in your Apple Mail email signature. There's quite a few different problems that can come up. Um, Apple Mail is sort of known uh, in the email signature world to be quite problematic um, with um, how it goes about displaying images in your email signature. So I'll go through a few of the problems and um, hopefully we can help you fix up your problem that you've got. So the first one is that your images are not visible when um, you install your email signature. So I'll just go um, and show you what I mean. If you go into mail preferences, you'll see my email signature here. Now there's a tick box here which says always match my default message font. Most of the time um, I've seen this actually ticked. So if you paste a HTML email signature into the box here, as you can see, it will turn it into plain text. And um, oftentimes, People will paste the HTML signature in there, um, expecting it to look all nice and pretty. And it turns out that it looks like this and it's not very appealing. Um, basically, it's a really easy fix, obviously. You just untick that, always match my default message font box. And um, you can see it turns back to HTML. Now, you can see here as well that the actual images themselves are not um, downloaded at the point when you paste the signature into your Apple Mail signature settings. Um, so uh, the images are still there, but for some reason, they're just not loaded in this window here. So if I close this window, I'll show you what I mean. If I go to compose a new email, you can see the images are all coming up there and they will send correctly to your recipient. Um, it's just that they don't come up in those preferences there. So if you paste your signature and it doesn't come up, don't panic. It's um, nothing to worry about. You can just basically close the window out and go to compose a new message. Now, another issue that comes up quite often is that your images uh, in your email signature are not visible when you're composing a new email. So let's say, um, for example, you go to compose a new email and you'll see just text here, um, like I was showing you earlier. Um, you'll just see text here instead of your actual HTML signature. Now, the reason for that happening is generally because of the, uh, in the composing tab here, your message format is set to plain text. So if your message format is set to plain text um, and you go to compose a new message, you'll see it comes up as plain text there. So if you just installed your new HTML signature in your Apple Mail, and when you go to compose a new email, it's coming up as plain text like that, most likely it's that issue there um, that I've just shown you. So composing and then uh, message format, it has to be rich text. Now, another common um, issue that happens in Apple Mail is actually when you receive an email, um, you'll find that your uh, message might not be loading the images um, or any any remote content. Um, so you might, I don't have an example here, but let's say you get an email from a colleague and it's got an email signature in there and you can't see uh, the images in there or um, any anything else basically that's remote. Um, you know, uh, now the way to fix that is if you just go to the viewing tab here and you make sure that this one's ticked, uh, load remote content in messages. So it says here, email messages may contain images or content stored on remote servers. So if you untick that, it won't download that remote content, which is uh, most of the time it's images. Um, yeah, it won't download it and the email signature won't look correct. Um, now that's not to say that your email signature when you're sending out won't look correct. Um, this just means your incoming uh, for your incoming messages. So uh, let's say, for example, if you've got that unticked, okay, and you go to compose a new message, you'll see that the image is not downloaded here. That doesn't mean that if you send the email that it won't be downloaded on the other on the recipient side. It just means that your Apple Mail won't download these images um, because if you set that. Uh, you've set that option to not do it. So basically, yeah, turn that option on, um, I recommend it. Another common issue is that your images in your email signature are not visible when replying to an email. And uh, what that means is uh, when, you, when someone composes an email, for example, and sends it to you, they might be sending it in plain text. Now, if you respond to that email that's um, in plain text, your email client, your Apple Mail, 
um, might respond back in plain text as well, in which case your email signature will just be in plain text format rather than in rich text format. And what you do is you basically make sure that this box here is unticked. Um, so don't tick that box. And what that will do is uh, if someone sends you an email in plain text format, when you respond to that email, uh, because your uh, Apple Mail is set to um, send emails in rich text format, it will automatically convert that plain text format email into rich text and your email signature will look correct in that email that you send out. So as you can see today, we've covered a few different things um, to do with Apple Mail email signatures. And I'll just recap on all of them. Obviously, you've got the signatures um, uh, when you're installing your signature. Uh, if it comes up as plain text format like that, most likely this is just ticked and you just untick that always match my default message font. Um, and that will fix um, that issue. And also when you're um, composing a new email, uh, if it's coming up as plain text, obviously just go into the composing tab here in your preferences and um, check the message format is uh, set to rich text format. Then that way your email, your HTML signature will look um, correct. Uh, the, the other one was when your images, your email signature are not automatically downloading when you're viewing an email. So again, uh, that's just to do with loading the uh, remote content in your messages. Make sure that that one there is ticked. So when you get an uh, email with a HTML signature, it has um, uh, all the content in there that it should have. Now, I might just mention while we're on this point, uh, there's another couple of uh, reasons that you know your remote content is not being downloaded. Um, one of them could be that you've got antivirus software perhaps installed on your PC. Uh, sorry, on your Mac, um, and that could that antivirus software could potentially be blocking the download of external content. So even if you've got this ticked here, and you're still not being able to, you're still not able to see remote images in your incoming emails. Um, it might be worth checking if you've got an antivirus software installed. Um, see if you can maybe disable that option. Um, it'll most likely be in, a, in the firewall settings or something like that. Um, and the other reason is that the mail server could be blocking the image downloads of incoming emails. Uh, so let's say you've got, you're working from a company and uh, you've got a mail server uh, and mail administrator might have set the settings on the mail server to block the image downloads um, uh, from external emails. And there's a few reasons that this sort of um, policy can be in place. One of them that I can think of straight away off the top of my head is to basically save on bandwidth. Um, every time you download an image from the internet, it uses some of your uh, bandwidth on your off your internet. So, and that can, you know, it cost quite a bit if you've got, you know, 500 or a thousand people in your organization. So um, basically, if that's the case, you need to speak to your server administrator about that. And um, so the last one that we spoke about was um, that, your email, that your images in your email signature are not visible when you're replying to an email. Um, now, that's uh, obviously um, a bit of a pain, but um, yeah, it's basically making sure that this one here is unticked. Um, so you basically, if you get a plain text email in your inbox, um, you don't wanna um, use the same message format as the original message. Uh, all that means is that you'll be re responding back in um, plain text format and you don't want that, you always wanna send emails in rich text format because that's the format that supports HTML email signatures. Now, if you're looking for an email signature, I might just show you our email signature generator. Now, full disclosure, I actually own this email signature generator. It's called Gimio, G-I-M-M dot I-O. Feel free to try it out. We've got lots of templates to choose from, as you can see on the screen um, now, should load up, there we go. I believe we've got over 40 templates now, so, there's lots and lots of templates there um, for all different styles. Now, one of the greatest things about Gimeo is that if you've got a, you know, an office of 10, 15, 20,000 staff, um, you can actually apply fields to uh, this signature or all signatures in this group. And what that means is, say for example, the address field here, let's say that that field applies to all signatures that are gonna be in your organization. You just set that toggle to all signatures in this group. And what that's going to do is going to make it so you don't have to keep retyping that address um, field for every single signature that you create for your organization. 
And you can do that for any field. Um, you can do that for image fields, for any text fields, any social fields, banners, disclaimers, and whatever else you want. That basically saves you a lot of time. So uh, what that means is you'll be able to create uh, 50 signatures in the space of just a few minutes. And that's, um, and that's a really big benefit. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.